Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your March 13th, Monday morning, Baker to Vegas update. We are two weeks and four days away from race day. Man, we are just about there, and it has come very fast. We're going to keep this one brief, so let's get going. If you haven't done so already, please, number one, make sure you've clicked the subscribe button, and number two, make sure that your teammates, uh, your support staff, all those folks, family, friends, have clicked on it as well because a lot is gonna start coming down uh, that way. Today's topics, we're gonna to talk about start times, volunteer information, uh, your run plan, as well as some upcoming videos that are gonna be coming out on this channel. Start with start times. Uh, they've been posted, I sent them all out. You can also find these times at our bakervegas.net website. So if uh, runners are looking for them, teammates, whatever the case is, I have them jump on bakervegas.net, click on team captains, scroll down a little bit more than halfway down, and you'll see start times. And there they are all listed. Uh, next thing we've got, oh, also uh, in regards to the start times, we did make a change. I'm sure you all have noticed instead of every hour uh, starting after nine o'clock, it's every 45 minutes. So please make sure that you leave with plenty of time to get to the start. Uh, there will be additional traffic. Um, so please make sure that uh, you leave with plenty of time. Don't, don't speed. Uh, just account for that traffic, especially coming in from, from Baker. You know that uh, you're getting stopped. So that way you guys can put in your numbers and all that good stuff. So just make sure that you leave some time there, especially for those follow vehicles. We've staff that section with a few extra bodies to help out but again you know if you show up late there's very little they can do and your starting runner your stage one runner cannot leave until you're all checked in and ready to go volunteer information <laughs> adina was here over the weekend and we were working on it uh today's a travel day for her so she's heading back <clears throat> we've got most of it done uh, there's a few things here and there. We we're missing some information. We're trying to put it all together so that way the OICs can reach out to their entire teams. Uh, so we're um, she's working really hard at that. She should have that out no later than Wednesday. So just be patient. I know you're all anxious. I know your uh, volunteers are asking what they're doing. Just please be patient. Just a couple more days and we'll get that out to you guys. Run plans. Okay, simply what this means is making sure that your your runners are all in place uh, on the website. If you haven't even jumped into the website lately, please do so. Please make sure you know what you're doing. Uh, get in there and start messing around with that. Uh, start moving your runners around. I'm getting a lot of phone calls saying, hey, my runners are gray, or I can't find my runners. So what's happening is, is if they're gray, they didn't complete the registration process. So a couple different options that are available. Number one, they can go in uh, using that same link and finish everything up. Or number two, you can delete them from the system, send them a new link, and they can start all over. Doesn't matter, but you have to get them to turn blue. Please do not wait to the last minute. I'm getting a lot of phone calls on this, and my time is running a little bit short now that I've got some other things that uh, got to get done in preparation for the race. So jump on there now, make sure that your runners are all blue and that you can move them around. Uh, the due date, March 24th, I'll say it again, March 24th at noon, I am locking the system. So make sure that your runners are in place. March 24th, which is the Friday before the race at noon, please make sure that you have all your runners set up. What I'm asking is with the alternates, start them on top and just go straight down. Doesn't matter uh, if they're running as an alternate for 15 through 20 or anything like that. Just start at the top and work your way down. And the reason for, for that is because as we print them out, it's easier. Uh, if they're an alternate, they can run any of the stages, so it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, the upcoming videos, like I've said, uh, they're gonna be coming out, discussing the exchange shoot, how we want that handled, uh, in case there's a race stoppage again as well as stage 20 when Adina and I get out there uh, uh, race week we're going to go ahead and we're going to post a video of the course so that way your runners have a better idea there will be some signage out there this year as well along stage 20 but uh, we figured we put out a video <clears throat> so your runners know 
uh, the course. Of course, it'll be during the daytime, but they'll at least have an idea of what it looks like. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. I thank you all for your time. I know it's valuable. Continue to train hard and stay safe. Take care, everyone. Talk to you later.